Up next on Line TV, we have a story over new faculty at SHS and some sports updates. All that and more, Line TV starts now. Happy Wednesday, Cersei High. Welcome back to another day at SHS and another day with Lion TV. Today is Wednesday, August 23rd. I'm Bailey Mills. And I'm Brooklyn Morgan. This morning's episode of Lion TV will include your usual updates and announcements, a story with Blake Farley over some faculty here at SHS, sports with Emily Housley, and an updated weather forecast with Owen Summerlin. Let's get in. <music> Youth to Youth will meet Friday, August 25th at 7.40 in Ms. Delgado's room 325. Please bring membership dues. Dues are $5 for returning members and $7 for new members. In all grades may sign up for FTA in Ms. Cook's room. Dues are $5. Information regarding club activities will also be available. Congratulations to choir sweetheart Abby Feather. Now we have a story with Blake over some new faculty here at Searcy High. Thanks, Bailey. So many of you know that we welcome two new administrators to campus this fall. Mr. Hodges and Mr. McCammon are new principal and vice principal. I sat down with both of them to talk about their new positions here and their plans and goals for this student body and the future of Searcy High School. My number one goal is, is to uh, do the best job that I can do to, to make uh, Searcy High School recognized as, as one of the, the best high schools in the state being uh, available and being consistent. Um, you know, my job is I'm here for the students and the, and the teachers uh, to, to make, you know, Searcy High School a, a, better, a better place to, to work and attend school. Uh, I want to improve our, our CT program, our computers and technology program. I want to grow the, the concurrent credit so that uh, to help parents, to help students, so that they have more college hours when they uh, get out of high school if they want them. Um, anything that will improve the students chances once they leave our high school to be successful uh, whether it be in in a career or whether it be in in college uh, gaining information to be in a career. Mr. McCammon and Mr. Hodges revealed what excites them most about their new jobs as well. You know I'm excited about uh, being back working with with the high school students uh, I'd worked here at, at Searcy High School for 11 years uh, previously um, and the opportunity to come back is uh, very exciting to me um, you know, and, and looking forward to, to a great year. Uh, coming into this job, what makes me the most excited is uh, having the students that I had in the past. I thought when I would get here that, that all the students that I had in the 7th and 8th grade would, would be grown up once they leave me. I really don't, don't get to see them and see the growth that they've had between the seventh grade to being a senior. And it, it's exciting to me to be able to, to remember those, those students when they're seventh and eighth graders and now see them becoming young, young adults and see where their life has taken them. One of our school district's head administrators also commented on how our new principals rise above the rest concerning their character and leadership to their students. Some of the uh, forethought that he has given with curriculum within the junior high campus has really stood out among the administrators in our district. And so he's kind of served as a role model for many of our administrators um, here. And we just felt like he could take that piece and make it even bigger at the high school. I can speak to Mr. McCammon in that his cooperativeness um, and his uh, leadership skills have kind of led him into uh, stepping out of the elementary uh, level and going into the high school uh, with some experience under, under his belt. Just the way they carry themselves, the way that they respect students and treat one another, I would hope that they would take some of those, that our students take those skills and, and put them into their practice of day and how they treat and respect each other. And then after they leave high school, how they treat and respect others that they work with or continue their education with. 
It was very great getting to know each of these men a little better, and I personally am very excited for what Lion Spirit and Lion Pride they have and will continue to bring to Cersei High. I, along with the rest of Lion TV, is very excited for the school year. ASUBB will be on campus Thursday, August 24th and Friday, August 27th in Lab 307. Students enrolled in off-campus enrollment classes who have a reduced schedule at SHS must turn in proof of enrollment. This can be a copy of the receipt of payment or a copy of their student account through ASU showing that the course has been paid for. Students who do not turn in documentation by Thursday, August 24th will have their schedules changed to a full course load at SHS. Elections for student council class officers and representatives will operate as following. Friday, August 25th, students will vote in their English classes. Monday, August 28th, all campaign material must be taken down and disposed of. Each class will choose its own president, vice president, secretary, and four representatives. Now let's throw things over to Owen to see what our weather will look like this week. Good morning, Sisha High School. I'm Owen Summerlin, here to bring you your weather for the week. Today, we will have a high of 88 degrees, some AM thunderstorms, and a 60% chance of rain. Your winds will go north at 6 miles per hour, and your humidity will be 79%. Your sun rose at 6.33 AM. Would not fly a kite today. On for tonight, partly cloudy, will be rain, 20% chance. Your low will be 69 degrees. Winds will be going north, northeast at 5 miles per hour. Humidity will be 96%, and sun will set at 7.45 PM. On to your almanac. Average temperatures for today have been 92 degrees as a high. Your low will be in the 69 degrees. A average month of precipitation will be 2.69 inches. Month to date have been 1.78 inches. On to the five cast. Thursday, it will be sunny with a high of 84, a low of 62, and 10% chance of rain. Friday, it will be partly cloudy, high of 84, a low of 63, 0% chance of rain. Saturday, partly cloudy as well, 82 degrees is the high, 64 is your low, and a 10% chance of rain. Sunday, we're going to get some showers in the afternoon, 84 degrees for your high, 65 for your low, and 40% chance of rain. And Monday, some more showers. Your high will be 80, your low will be 64, and you'll have a 50% chance of rain. So it looks like we're going to have a superb first three days of the week. It's going to get a little wet there for the last two. I'm looking forward to the drop in temperature too, even though it's just a little bit. Yeah. All right, let's, let's see what we're having for lunch. For lunch, we'll be having cheese pizza sticks with stromboli, marinara sauce, roasted squash, fruit punch, mini grams, grapes, and milk. FCA meetings will be Thursdays at 7.15 in the hospitality room in the gym beginning this Thursday. All students are invited. Old members at Key Club meet for the first meeting the Tuesday after Labor Day. For new members, their first meeting will be the first Tuesday of October. Now let's throw things over to Emily to see what's happening in the sports world this week. Good morning, Cersei High School. Let's jump right into your Cersei Lions sport updates. The tennis team swept the floor against Bologna on Monday and played Harding Academy on Tuesday. They match up against Cabot at Cabot on Thursday, so be sure to wish them luck. Your golf team matched up against West Memphis and Bald Knob where they demolished both teams, and they traveled to Mountain Home on Friday. The football team scrimmaged win at win yesterday. The volleyball team participates in Spike Fest this weekend. We talked to Stephanie Tucker to hear more about it. Spike Fest is a tournament of Central Arkansas teams showing off their skills and we are hoping to get the most wins. The catch of the year happened in the game between Pennsylvania and Chinese Taipei when outfielder Jack Regney for Pennsylvania robbed the other team of a home run. That's all we have for sports today, Cersei. Let's send this back to the news desk. Thanks for those updates, Emily. That's all we have for today's show. I'm Brooklyn Morgan. And I'm Bailey Mills. Don't forget, if you miss an episode of Lion TV, you can catch up at CerseiLionPress.com and follow the link to our Lion TV page. And while you're there, follow us on Instagram at CerseiLionTV and Facebook and Twitter at Lion TV. Have a great day, Cersei.